Hi guys, it's Josh from Emperor Wargaming and today I am doing an unboxing video of the brand new Galactic Fleet starter set that I have just got for Star Wars Armada. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing this, we'll go through it and as well as that we're also going to go through the Squadrons pack. So we've actually sold out of the fleet on uh, the website but we can still get you the Armada Squadrons pack so head to www.emperorwargaming.co.uk to check that out. Um, don't forget we're still doing our giveaway for Cad Bane, so like and subscribe to the channel and drop us a comment to let us know you've done it. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I will get on and I will unbox these awesome new sets for you. Okay, so we'll go through the fleet box first. So this is the first time I'm opening it, so very excited. Let us have a quick look. How do I get in? Up there, there we go. So the way that these are being marketed is that they are the, the perfect way for one person to start Armada. So we get our Learn to Play book, which is really handy if you've watched any of my Armada videos because I don't normally have a clue. So we've got that, which is great. What is this here? This will be all the tokens and the boards. Excellent stuff. Oh, and a range ruler. Really helpful with all your tokens. Looking forward to getting that all sorted. Some flight stands. So two small ones for the cruisers and a big one for the bigger ship. So, oh, squadrons. So these are the V, the, the V wings, yeah. V19 torrents, they look very cool. All the stuff for your dials and your manoeuvring tool. Ah, excellent. A couple of dice. That's really handy. We like that a lot. So, happy days. We got all our cards. There, yeah, we go. V19 Torrent Squadron. What's that looking like? Escort, Swarm. That's not bad, you know. Movement three, hull five. A red and two blues on anti-squadron. That's that's pretty nasty, actually. I like that a lot. Okay. The moment everyone's been waiting for. Let's get these squadron. Let's get these ships out. I mean, first off, they do look absolutely fantastic. There we go, there's the acclimator. It's looking pretty, pretty awesome. Let's see if we can get these out without breaking them. There we go. We've got the little cruisers as well. That is pretty cool stuff. Right. Cards, let's have a look. So it looks like they've moved away from the smaller upgrade cards. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because it's all just one size now. It's all just the normal ones. It's uh, Fantasy Flight, uh, Fantasy Flight Grey sleeve protectors for those who need them. So you've got the Torrent Squadron, Axe Squadron, a Damage Deck. And we've got the uh, mission cards, and then we get into the upgrades. So, Bail of Ghana, Obi Wan, Clone Captain Zack, the Navigation Officer, Clone Gunners, Hyperspace Rings, Reactive Gunnery, Swivel Mount Batteries. Concussion missiles, munitions resupply, parts resupply, auxiliary shield team, We've got the implacable, Navuta B, the radiant, swift return. Ah, oh. 
I'm going to say it, that's a little bit disappointing. Just having your little ship cards. I'm... Come on guys, the, the big ones were cool. You liked having the big ones and then you can have the little ones all stacked up. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Um, so let's have a quick look. So the Acclimator 1. Yeah, he's pretty handy. He's going to be alright, isn't he? Let's see if we can get a better focus. There we go. So, Acclimator 1. Acclimator 2. Consular Armed Cruiser. And you got two cards for that, which is nice. And the Consular Class Charger C70. And then we've got the little handy reminders there. So, that's the box set. Yeah, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed in the cards. I liked the different sizes. I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys all thought of them. But the models, they do look. Look at that. They're looking awesome. And obviously, the consulars as well, looking pretty nifty. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a quick tidy up and I'll be right back at you with the squadrons pack. Okay, so let's have a look at the Republic Squadrons pack. So there's all your, your tokens. We'll get to the cards in just a minute. Got a little leaflet there. Okay, so... We've got the V19 Torrance in here. Oh, look at them, they are tiny little things. Have fun painting them, guys. So, get that in better focus for you all. There we go, we've got the... There's the Delta 7 Ether Sprite. The Y-Wing. The Arc 170. I think that's there, and uh, yeah, another lot of the torrents. So let's have a quick look at the cards. So obviously you get the other card for a generic V19, and then you get Kickback Squadron, which look pretty cool. So you get Swarm and Escort. After you perform an attack. You may move up to distance one even if you're engaged. I'll take it, it's not bad. Uh, the Delta 7 Aether Sprite? I can't say that properly, there we go. Uh, Adept 1, while attacking, you may reroll one dice, nice. Counter 2, always handy. Uh, dodge 1, while defending against a squadron during your spend defense token step, you may choose to one die to be rerolled. Handy stuff. So four blue and a black and anti squadron armament and one blue for anti ship. Oh, look at that, Ahsoka. Luminara Undulai and Kit Fisto for your Aphra Sprite. Oh, and Plo Koon. Crikey, you're getting all the Jedi here. I mean quite expensive, 26, 24, 23, 23. But yeah. They've all got some cool stuff and I'm gonna I'm not going to spoil it too much. I want you guys to have a have a look through. But they're cool. The Y-Wings. So Bomber and Heavy. I think we knew that was coming. Uh, what's that? One black anti-squadron. Uh, Anti-ship and a black and a blue anti-squadron. We get Skywalker. There he is. Making his appearance. Into Clone Wars Armada. So a red and a blue for anti squadron uh, for anti ship. Adept two, you may reroll two dice during your activation. You may spend one defense token to ignore engagement until the end of your activation. It's pretty handy for a bomber. We'll take it. The Arc One Seventies. Now I like these. I think they're really cool. I mean they're big. They're heavy. Seven hull. That's a lot. Counter one, really good. Uh, and bomber. So after squadron performs non-counter attack against you, you may attack a squadron with an anti-squadron armament of one blue die, even if you were destroyed. Yeah, we knew that. Oddball. So two two move. They are slow, but seven hull. Two blue and a black anti-squadron. Two blue anti-ship. 
While attacking, if you move during your activation, you may re-roll two dice. I like him. Oddball might be getting used. 23 points, quite a lot, but definitely going to be using him. So that's both of them. Uh, I'll be back in just a second and I will do a quick recap for you. So just unboxed both the Squadrons pack and the fleet. I have to say I like the models. The models are amazing. Um, they look really good. The detail on them is fantastic. I'm looking forward to trying out the new rules because there's quite a few in there. Um, I think that's going to be really fun as well. The only thing I'm not really a fan of is the fact that the cards are all the same size. I get completely why they do it because it, you know, makes sense. Have them all the same size. You only need one set of card protectors then. But I did like having the bigger, uh, bigger cards for the ships. I think it just it just made it a bit nicer so having the small ones. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too fussy. But yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah. Go to emperorwargaming.co.uk to pick up some new stock. Cheers, guys. Bye.